everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be customizing enamel pins and since it's such a small project that's why the camera angle is a bit different. I try to get the best angle so you can see what I was doing. I don't have a big collection of pins and that's why I kind of wanted to customize my own. But the first step is you have to sand the kind of shiny material on these pins just to ensure that the paint will actually stick to them. I recommend using a very light grade sandpaper though because you don't want to scratch up the actual base of the pins. And once that was done I used some acrylic gesso just to also help the paint stick better and to give a nice white base coat to start in. And for that rounded one with like the 3D lettering, I did have to put a lot of puffy paint and fabric paint on it just to kind of cover up all those letters. And this was honestly really hard to paint because I kept dropping the pins over and over again. And honestly, this was a very hard thing for me to start. I took like three weeks just thinking ideas for these pins. But I decided to go simple and I decided to start by painting colored backgrounds for each of them. And so I gave each color a color of the rainbow, including white as well. That's just a simple background. And for the circle one, since it had a lot of the 3D lettering, the best way I thought to actually customize it was just to do a little rainbow design. I just used my puffy paint or my fabric paint to give it that kind of puffy design. And this way I would avoid any of the 3D lettering to appear underneath it. And then I also decided to customize this little pendant that I had. It was just a piece of plastic. It was just like a little, I think a yin yang symbol, but it was mostly like all scratched away. And since I had all the paint out and everything, I decided to just include it in the video. But after three coats of all the base colors, I was finally able to start on my actual designs for each of them. And this is where it was kind of hard for me to choose a design for anything. I sh really struggled to think on what to paint in such a small space. And this really would not have been possible without the Posca paint markers. But I finally decided to do something I was really familiar with and I have a lot of practice doing, which is just this like silhouette style of a woman in a dress. And once I got to like the third or fourth one, I kind of started gaining confidence and kind of feeling more inspired with them. And I actually started to get excited about these. And I really wanted to go for a very monochromatic look to each of them. So the dresses and the silhouettes were all done in the same color as the background. Which on some of them, like the orange and yellow, is really hard to see. And I just wasn't really too sure how this was going to turn out in the end. And I was really worried because of how I was recording. It just, you wouldn't be able to see any of this video. I thought it would just be like too blurry or my hands would be in the way, which it happened a lot. But overall, I once I kind of got the hang of what I was doing, I actually really enjoyed it and I loved how they all turned out. I had to do a lot of the details off camera and I tried to make each design slightly different but still cohesive so they could be a set, all of them together. And honestly, recently I've been painting a lot of smaller and smaller things. And this has kind of now inspired me and made me excited to paint something really big, like a giant canvas. 
so hopefully I'll be able to get around to that idea somewhat soon. But back to these pins. For the white one, I wasn't really sure what to do because the white Posca marker wouldn't show up on the white background. So instead I decided to do gray and black for the white background. I felt like I had to do something really great and amazing, but with such a tiny space, I felt extremely limited. And so it wasn't until I decided to do this very simple design that I actually started to fall in love with it. And after about three or four coats on each of them, this is pretty much how they're looking. I did put my initials and the date on the back of them. But once they're pinned on something, you can't really see that anyway. And as you can see, I did do some little designs and detail work on the back of all of them and around the silhouette of each of them. And I tried making the little details on the pin around the silhouettes different for each of the different colors. I think out of the silhouettes themselves, the green one was probably one of my favorites. And then for like the designs around the silhouettes, the purple and the pink one were my favorite. I just feel like those three were the ones that came out the best. I'm going to be putting three to four coats of this glossy Mod Podge just to seal in the paint and protect it, but also to give it a very nice glossy finish. You could have also used something like resin or like a 3D gloss that will give it more dimension, but I was just using the materials I had and so that's why I just used the Glossy Mod Podge. And I did give it multiple coats so that it would be super shiny and glossy. And then once all the coats were dry, this is how they look. They came out super shiny and super smooth. And honestly, although it's really simple designs, I really love how all of them turned out. I'm really happy to have them in my collection. And it was honestly not as hard as I felt like it was in the beginning. Once I kind of started working on them and was doing them one after the other, it also became a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And I feel like I wouldn't like them individually as much, but seeing them all together as a set, I just really love them. I really hope you all liked how they turned out as well. It was a long process. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would, but overall I did enjoy it. And I really hope you all enjoyed how they look. And I did add them all to my lanyards with all the rest of my pins. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. Thank you all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Bye.